where your guys are at, where you feel they're at right now after this performance? Well, you know, I think as a team, we wrestled better than we've wrestled all year. And, uh, we hope to see that at the end, towards the end, you know. And uh, I think that uh, most of the matches uh, that were kind of critical and didn't know which way it was going, you know, it looked like we uh, kind of took, took it over in the second period, middle of it, rather than waiting towards the end. Uh, we kind of took, took control a little bit in the second. And that was the difference in the outcome. You were there for Mono Smith and Santana. Was this as loud with Nick Penn Lee as it was when you were a kid? That well, I remember that was Gallagher Hall, yeah. and that was a smaller venue, but still, yeah, it's like being in a tunnel. It's pretty loud. Yeah. All I can remember is my feet vibrate. And I was uh, 12 years old. I was the towel boy. So, Did it vibrate today at all? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Coach, you're tied up and had four seniors finish the duel with victories on senior day. Can you just talk about them and what they've meant to this program and well, with today's you, uh, performance? You always hate to see seniors go, but this is a group that has uh, uh, been really, really good for the team and then the people around them, you know, not just in the sport of wrestling, but as individuals. They're good people and, and uh, you know, they've, they've really rubbed off on a lot of the, the younger guys. And, you know, that's what you hope for. You know, you hope you build a culture and, and that culture's tough first, right? And and also being good people and uh, good students. And uh, so, you know, it's going to be hard to see those guys go, but uh, they, didn't, they aren't sure. Uh, you know, it's a great feeling for them to be able to leave with a win like this uh, as they go on into their careers. You, start, start, you started today exactly as you would want to start any duel, but, but I mean, to like double the energy level of the room not to mention, I'm sure, your guys. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better beginning, could you? No, no. And I don't think you expect that. You didn't expect that. Uh, and, and that's even something that makes it even bigger, you know. It's, you know, uh, you go out and, and you create action. I, I thought he did a good job after the escape, putting the pressure on immediately, uh, something that he hadn't been doing, uh, you know, and, and put himself in position to, to uh, find a pin and move, and then, then putting him away. You know, it's one thing about putting the guy to his back; it's another thing about pinning him. You know, so you, know, you got to give Nick credit. Uh, no question that uh, uh, you know he was definitely started his off in, in, a, in a way that uh, you look to start off in big dual meets. You guys celebrated with a lot of emotion. Did you like the way they wrestled? Did they have the same kind of emotion when they were on the mat itself? I think so. You know. I, um, you know, we just, you know, I, th I thought in a lot of the matches, even in a couple that we got beat, they just, I liked, I liked what I saw at 57. You know, I think he can grow from that. It just seemed, uh, you know, gave up a, a takedown, a couple takedowns easy, but uh, stayed in the match and kind of clawed it out, looked for a reversal at the end, picked it up, you know. So, um, you know, you like, you know, if you're going to lose, you, you want to see, you know, us finish the period or finish the match. You know, and we finished the match with a reversal, a breakdown, and, and trying to get a turn. At 133, it was like both guys were so technically masterful that, you know, you, usually that one guy could wait for the other to make a mistake, but there weren't going to be any mistakes in that one. I mean, and as it turned out, no nonsense. Just Wrestling. strictly, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Is that kind of the way you expected it now that you You know, um, you, sometimes you don't know, you know, how, how the match is going to go, but what you do need to know is that your guy's going to be aggressive, you know, and, and he's going to and he's going to go out and he's going to look for points, you know, um, and and in the middle of the second, uh, he's not going to fade, or in the middle or the late in the third, he's not, you know. So so one thing that we have with Dayton, you know, he's going out to wrestle, and you know, as as a freshman, um, it's good to know that, you know, that's the toughest weight in the country by far. Um, and, and it's the deepest I, I've ever seen any weight ever in my coaching career. It's as deep as any weight I've ever seen. Coach, what was the explanation on the way down takedown in that match at 133, and what did you see there? Well, um, let's just pass on that. <laughs> Got to be a little careful what I say. You know, um, Do I think it was two? I, I believe it was two. Guy hit his hip and got her hands locked. But you got to be prepared, uh, and I think Dayton was prepared to, that they may not give it to him, you know. So, 
it's good to see him uh, finish out that period, um, especially the third period on top. 125, was there any hesitation shooting bottom? Is that something you guys thought about? Obviously, Spencer's really good on top. Listen, you, you wrestle the defending national champion. You know, you, you don't, you don't, I don't think you have the luxury to, to not choose bottom. You know, so, yeah. I mean, you can't give up that point in big matches, you know. So, um, I, I don't think we ever hesitated. We didn't even talk about it this week. Um, I think Nick knows my opinion on it. And, he probably got got ready to go on bottom. Coach, what what went in the decision at sixty five and seventy four bumping Chandler up today? Well, we had uh, we had a, a sick wrestler, you know, um, that that probably couldn't have wrestled today. It wouldn't have been much if he did. That was Joseph. Uh, you know, nothing that that should last longer than two or three days, but uh, you know. In the end, uh, we just made a decision, uh, actually yesterday, late, late last night, that uh, Chandler was going to move up, and uh, we were going to insert uh, one of our seniors in at uh, 65. You've talked before about how he's one of the best you've coached at getting guys on their back on senior day, gets a pin. Just how fitting is that? And he's a pinner, you know. <laughs> you know, in a time, time that uh, – Probably needed the pin, you know. You just need something, something to turn around. They they won 49, 57, and and, and got a pin at 65. Somebody's got to step out and turn it around, you know. And dual meets and big dual meets uh, uh, that are going to be competitive. Uh, you could get on that losing streak, and maybe, you know, I didn't expect to lose at 49. You know, I mean, we had three guys step out and, and had had great wins, and and then all of a sudden we're, we we lost at 49. You know, so. It's always in, in dual meets. It's the guy that always turns the dual meet around. I think that's what Chandler did for us. A lot of hype, John, on this meet. And then when the guys get here, the crowd's fantastic. Do you ever worry about maybe too much excitement out of your guys that they try to meet those expectations and that hype? And, and if so, how do you think they handle the environment? What do you mean by that? I mean, just just, just the hype. You mean yeah. the week during right, the week? Right. Well, I mean, you know, we're, we're wrestling. We got to do that. We got to do things that to put people in the stands. We got to remind people where our matches are. You know, um, this is that we just got to deal with that. You know, um, and uh, and we'll continue to have to deal with it. You know, we're gonna we're gonna build up hype and we're gonna put people in the stands and when we have a chance to do it. Um, it's a you know, you got to do things as a coach to to create that environment and. And um, sometimes it may not be the best scenario for you, but hey, you know, uh, our guys are pretty tough, you know, from the standpoint of, uh, you know, dealing with, you know, hype or expectation. Um, Coach, what can, we, what can we expect to see moving the postseason at like 65, 74, 84? You need to ask me in about seven days. So. How are you guys going to go about determining that? Uh, you need to ask me in seven days. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, um, you know, just kind of keep in mind, you know, I think people, you know, we got, we got you know, when you look at the rankings, you know, 65 right now, um, 74, um, probably not even at this time, not even predict to be an All-American. I think our rankings are below eight. So, you know. I mean, we're gonna put. To, we need to. We need to go with the guy that can score some team points. You know, so uh, we'll see how it goes. The Rogers outcome was critical, but, but I mean, then Jacoby Smith comes out and does what he does. I mean, well, remember, I guess a lot of guys would get a game ball, but it seems like he remember to sustain the momentum. I guess. Yeah, and I think with people, you know, remember Jacoby had to weigh in at, at 100. 79 pounds today too, so minus uh, five pounds uh, from 84. Uh, you wouldn't think that's a whole lot, but it really is in wrestling, you know. Um, and so that's that's even more impressive what he what he's capable to do and and, and what he did today. You know, he's going to drop on down to 74. He will be our 74 pounder going into postseason. Um, you know, so uh, he's a tough guy. You know, it gives us gives this team a, a lot of reasons to watch closely. You know, want to mimic him, you know. Well, he didn't get any back Zero points start. with Preston. Is it a case where you're, you're feeling he's getting back comfortable with how dominant he was on top 
You know, it's a good match for Preston, you know, from the standpoint of what this, this guy's gone through, you know. I mean, um, you know, in his career, so many so many reasons to, you know, look past wrestling and say, I'm, I'm going to move on, you know. The number of injuries he's had and had to deal with personally, you know, just it would give him an easy out, you know. Uh, but he's kind of just dug deep and, and has found himself uh, back in the lineup, and uh, he's healthy right now. And, Whatever he can do for us is going to be big. Thanks, Coach. Anything else for Coach? Thank you.